when I went to Mexico earlier this year. Man, met some ladies down there. All right, okay, okay, okay. They actually together. I'm gonna ask Abby to marry me. Awesome. If you have never watched the show Love and Paradise on Discovery Plus, I recommend it. I mean, it's currently more interesting than the season of 90 Day Fiance running on TLC right now. Don't have Discovery Plus? Let me clue you in. In the first season, the stories were pretty run-of-the-mill. People pretty much just meet in paradise and try to decide if their vacation fling will actually lead to a ring. But in season two so far, there are some interesting new stories. And this story I will cover in this video is a pretty unique one. My name is Abby. I'm 34 years. Abby lives in Mexico with her longtime girlfriend, Gabby. That's right, it's Abby and Gabby. Abby and Gabby. They have been happy together for over 10 years, but five months ago, they met a new guy. His name is Frankie. Gabby and I, we are bisexual. Because they've been together for so long, I was expecting a long answer for why they brought Frankie in as a new boyfriend. But Abby gets right to her reason. Women are so kind and soft, and males has a, a penis. <laughs> it's not just about hooking up for Abby anymore. Gabby doesn't know yet, but something special is growing in my heart for Frankie. Abby has fallen in love with Frankie, so let's meet this guy. My name is Frankie, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Anyone else disappointed that his name doesn't end in Y? It does at least rhyme. Frankie was married for 15 years before he got a divorce. About six months after the divorce, I was a little depressed. My best friend Rodney and his fiance Selena invited me on a beach vacation to Puerto Vallarta. And guess who he met in Mexico? I mean, they immediately gravitated towards me and just started playing with my beard. In my mind, I'm like, is this happening? They all ended up hooking up at Frankie's hotel and they were inseparable until his vacation was over. I stayed in contact with both girls, but um, after a while, my focus shifted toward Abby. Abby and Frankie have been talking behind Gabby's back long distance for five months and are finally ready to break the news to her. So uh, I'm planning a trip to Mexico so Abby and I can sit down with Gabby and tell her about how we're making plans to be with each other and no plans with her being in our life. Well, you heard it yourself from Frankie. They plan to bring Abby to the U.S. and ditch Gabby. Let's hear that one more time. No plans with her being in our life. So this guy meets two girls who are in a relationship with each other for 10 years. And Abby decides after spending a total of five days with Frankie that she wants to ditch her girlfriend for him. So after five days, no more Abby and Gabby, just Abby and Frankie. It sounds a little odd, doesn't it? Unless Abby just maybe doesn't love Gabby anymore. Frankie tells his friends about his threesome and has something else he wants to share. I'm gonna ask Abby to marry me. <laughs> go, what? This is not shocking. I mean, how many people on 90 Day Fiance have proposed to people they just met? A lot. But I am more interested in what Abby wants out of this. Is she really just ready to ditch Gabby for Frankie? We meet the guy Frankie was with when he met Abby and Gabby for the first time, and even he seems confused by this. This was supposed to be a fling, not a, let's go to the jewelry store because I'm in love with this girl and get her a ring. I think his friend is also concerned because Frankie is newly divorced. He met Abby and Gabby only six months after his 15-year marriage ended. But regardless of what anyone in his life has said, he's made up his mind and bought a ring. At this point, I'm, I mean, I'm not changing my mind for nobody. Are you really sure about that, Frankie? Gabby and I travel from our home in Guadalajara to meet Frankie at Puerto Vallarta. The time for the news to get dropped on Gabby has arrived. But right now, Gabby still thinks that Frankie is coming just to hang out with both of them. She don't have any idea that Frankie and I, we are in love and we have uh, different plans now. Gabby brings up that they don't usually repeat partners when they have a threesome because feelings can develop. How ironic. Pero entonces eh, ha sido diferente con Frankie. And awkward. Mike the house elf wants to remind you to subscribe to this channel. Has given Dobby a shock. Come on. Dobby is free. If you don't, he will appear in your room tonight to tell you he loves you. Come on.
Gabby says she doesn't like that she can't speak English well, like Frankie and Abby can. Y a veces me hace sentir insegura porque realmente no sé de lo que ellos están hablando. Oh, you haven't missed much. They have just been talking about ditching you on the phone right in front of you. So Abby has been talking to Frankie about their plans, but also says this in her interview. I want to find a way to bring Gabby with me and we can be all together happy. Frankie said earlier that they have no plans to bring Gabby. So which is it? I don't really believe what Abby says. I mean, how trustworthy is she? She has been sneaking around behind her girlfriend's back this whole time. Is this just something she's saying to make herself look less like a backstabbing bitch? Frankie is getting ready to leave. I can't wait to see you. I want to see you too. And yes, while they are flirting with each other in English, Gabby is right there not understanding a word. Frankie says he's nervous to break Gabby's heart, but I didn't expect what happens next. Frankie decides not to come to Mexico to visit as planned. I call him, I text messages, but he doesn't answer my message. Abby gets ghosted, but there isn't a clear answer on why, and they just talked about him coming the day before. Pero que te dijo que? Pues nada, me mandó un mensaje. No quiero arruinar la vida de ambas. Gabby is completely in the dark, but Abby and everyone watching knows why he probably didn't come. But how and why did he change his mind the day that he is supposed to come? And while Frankie doesn't show up, his friend Rodney and Rodney's fiance still show up. They were with Frankie when he first met Abby and Gabby. While hanging out on a boat, Abby asks Rodney why Frankie didn't come. Was now a really good time to ask that? Does she really think he didn't come for a different reason? He was feeling more love for one girl than the other girl. Yeah, terrible time to ask that because now Abby has to translate what Rodney is saying to Gabby. And he wanted to bring Abby back to the United States. And as expected, Gabby is shocked and upset. Abby, ¿tú sabías eso? Abby! And Abby's explanation sounds like bullshit to me. The plan was that I get married with Frankie and after that we can find out what we can do to bring Gabby to the U.S. with us. If they really did plan to bring Gabby with them, why would they keep this huge secret? He did not want to do it over the phone or over text. He wanted to do it in person. But he didn't come. And remember earlier, Frankie said that they had no plans to bring over Gabby at all. So what was the real plan? I'm really thinking that Abby was ready to ditch Gabby. I think what made him change his mind is he didn't want to come between you two. Disculpame, pero que pocos huevos de Yes, Frankie is at fault, but your girlfriend of 10 years just stabbed you in the back. A ustedes te lo agradezco, and she is porque so si no haya sido de esta manera, yo no estuviera enterada. If it doesn't happen this way, she never knows. And it looks like Abby just lost both partners. Abby, esta vez la la me me traicionó, me mintió, y ella me lastimó. And in the next episode, Abby and Gabby face off. Tú eres mi relación. Tú eres mi pareja. Ama quien tú quieras, vale? Porque yo voy a amar a quien yo quiera. <laughs> I think that Abby is getting what she deserves, but will Frankie tell us what happened? Or is he completely ghosted? We will have to see how this season plays out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!